Thanks for watching. In this video, we will cover the Sierra Wireless RV50X. We will cover what comes in the box, walk you through the different ports and connectors, and cover the functionality of the LED lights. Let's get started by covering what comes in the box. The unit comes with a DC power cable. This is ideal for many industrial and commercial deployments. You can also purchase an AC adapter for in-office deployments and for bench testing. There are two mounting holes on the RV50X to mount the unit. There are also supplied screws to do the job. Many will choose to use a DIN rail type mount, which can be purchased separately. Finally, there is a quick start guide to help you get started. It walks you through many key steps, including how to insert the SIM card to gain cellular connectivity. First, remove the SIM door using a screwdriver. Carefully insert the SIM card, then be sure to reattach the door to prevent unwanted dust or moisture from getting in. The first thing we'll cover is the power receptacle. The cable attaches securely to ensure it stays connected, even in the toughest environments. There is an Ethernet port to enable connectivity for a device, like a computer or terminal. This port is of the much desired gigabit variety, enabling blazing speeds for your applications. The second connectivity port is the serial port. While many may not use this port anymore, it's very commonly used in the industrial space. The final method of connecting another device is via USB port. This port is great for stationary applications, not so much for a mobile one or for one involving heavy vibration. The router has three antenna ports for you to use. Two are for cellular, and as I often say, it's recommended you use two cellular antennas at all times to maximize your speeds and connection stability. There is also a GPS port to provide real-time location information. Lastly, on the other side of the router, there is a reset port. This is used in the event that your router is not working as desired. Like all Sierra Wireless routers, there are LED lights to provide you with valuable information about the functionality and status of your router. There are four on this product. Starting from the left, we have the network light. Solid green means you're on an LTE network, while solid amber means you're on a 2 or 3G network. If it's flashing green, that means you're attempting to connect to a network, while flashing red means that no network is currently available. Finally, if it's switching between flashing red and amber, this means that network operating switching is enabled, but the gateway is unable to locate the required firmware. The signal light is next. There are four different states for this light. Solid green is great as it means the equivalent of four to five bars on your cell phone. Solid amber is not bad. It means a fair signal, two to three bars on your phone. And flashing amber means a poor signal, like having one bar on your phone and you should consider moving to a different location or using a stronger antenna setup. Finally, flashing red is never good as it means you have an inadequate signal or like having zero bars on your phone. The activity light tells you about how data is being sent or received. Flashing green means that traffic is being sent or received over the WAN port, while flashing red means that traffic is being sent over the serial port if you have configured the gateway to do so. Flashing amber means you are transmitting over both ports at the same time. The final light is for power status. No light means that there is no power being delivered at all, or the input power is insufficient. Solid green is good if it means that sufficient power is present. Solid red means that the device is in standby mode. Like other Sierra Wireless products, the power light may also blink in conjunction with the pressing of a reset button. When you see flashing green, this indicates when to release the button to reboot the device. When it becomes flashing red, this tells you when to release the button to reset the device to its factory default settings. And finally, when it goes to flashing amber, this will occur when the reset button is held for more than 20 seconds, and it is to indicate when to release the button to enter recovery mode. Like some other Sierra Wireless routers, the RV50X will use all LED lights at the same time to indicate a particular status. This is referred to as an LED chase. A green LED chase informs you that a radio module firmware configuration or firmware update is in progress or the device is switching network operators. An amber LED chase will let you know that the ALIO software is being updated. 
When it is completed, all LED lights will remain solid amber except the power LED light. The final one is a red LED chase, which tells you the device is in recovery mode. There are also two LED lights on the Ethernet port. The left one is for connection speed. When it's solid green, that means blazing 1 gigabit per second, solid amber is 100 megabits per second, and no light on indicates 10 megabits per second. The right LED light is for activity across the port. Solid amber light means a link is present and it will flash amber when there's activity. Many thanks for taking time to watch this video. It is one of many in our Gateway series. We would love to hear from you and encourage you to reach out to us using the contact information on the screen.